Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I am trying something new. I was not thrilled with the audio that I was getting from the Movo VXR10 that I had run through all the cabling up into the A7 IV. I don't know, it just, it, it just sounded almost, I wanna say muffled, or almost like I was in a big room with absolutely no sound dampening whatsoever. And I don't know what the hell happened because it used to work really well. I guess that's when I had it up above me, angled down. I don't know. But then the thought occurred to me, I almost always use my Rode Wireless Go 2 since I got it for Christmas, and I think that sounds the best. So since I have two transmitters, and I usually have this one here, I just have the second one that I don't use sitting in my humidifier cabinet. And I thought, you know what, why don't I just take that damn thing and slide it into the hot shoe that I've got, or the cold shoe that I mounted to the top of the Ninja and see what happens with that. So right now you are hearing audio from the Rode Wireless Go 2 using the second transmitter that's just sitting on top of the Ninja. I, I don't know what that's gonna sound like. What I am gonna do now is I'm, if you can hear anything, you can hear the damn jet that they just decided to start taking off when I decided to record. You're definitely gonna hear that. Okay, it should be far enough away that it shouldn't bother me. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the Ninja on. Let's just mount the damn thing up there. Now what I've done is I've taken the magic arm, swiveled it so that it's gonna make the microphone right below the screen of the Ninja, but directly right in front of me, maybe just down a couple of inches. And I'm gonna show you that. Again, there's another jet. Apparently the jets are just gonna be taken off today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the camera off again and show you exactly what the hell I'm talking about. So now you can see what I did was I took the magic arm here which I did have so that the microphone was like right here and I just adjusted it so it was in front of me and then I took yeah, the microphone, the transmitter for the Rode Wireless Go 2 that I wasn't using and I have the little magnetic thing on it and I can just boom, it just sticks to a little piece there that's metal and it's right in front of me. Now you can see how that's mounted there. But I'm gonna put this back up now so I don't have to hold it. Okay, so here we go again. Testing, testing, one, two, three. How does it sound to you? I'm speaking like I normally do. I'm waving my arms all around, looking at the screen, looking down at the ninja, not looking into the lens and addressing my audience like you're here with me having an intimate conversation. But I do have this set so that it's, you know, like I, if I were speaking straight ahead, it's right level with the lens, five inches below that and directly in front of me in line of spit is the transmitter for the Rode Wireless Go 2. And I always have the dead cat on it, like I always do, and I don't have this one on. This is the one that's usually right here. That way this one can just stay here, and then if I need to plug it in, I've got cables everywhere that I can plug it in and, and get juice. So not worried about that either. And as far as how it's all set, I have it to I basically have it matching this one, so it shouldn't sound any different. Let me know what you think. How's it sound? I have a call in just a couple of minutes. So I need to go and get that all set up and all that kind of shit. But uh, you know, I'm then gonna go out and, and run a couple errands. I don't know, maybe get some salad dressing or something. All right, the lens will not be here today. That updated last night, that will be here tomorrow. That's nothing short of what I expected. I should be getting a couple other things today though, or maybe tomorrow, I don't know. You know me, I get shit all the time, so we'll have to check on that. But for now, I need to go get set up for this call, and hopefully this sounds good. Be right back. One of the fascinating things that I enjoy about YouTube is the documentation of people's journey. People have come from all different walks of life, and they have great stories to tell. And that's one of the things that I appreciate about YouTube. Something that started with just a guy trying to be able to share some files with his buddies that turned into this worldwide phenomenon where I can watch a video created on the other side of the world in a place that in all likelihood I will never see. I've really been into stories. The stories about people and what they have to say. It has always been my intention to create a series of talking about legends, monsters, things like that. I don't really want to get into hauntings, but you know, just we'll just call it creepy shit. 
because I'm all over the place up and down the East Coast. And there are certainly no shortages of mysteries and monsters out there that, that I can report on. And that has always been my goal. But my reintroduction into this journey of YouTube compared to when I first started my channel way back a decade and a half ago, whatever, you know, whenever it was that uh, YouTube first came out and I had a channel, you know, that was just all about, you know, definitely Film Riot like in that I wanted to learn how to be a filmmaker and all that kind of stuff. And my journey has changed greatly since then, which isn't to say that I'm not looking to not be a filmmaker, but not in that way. I'm not all about learning all the special effects and, and creating a, you know, like a space opera fantasy type thing. But now it's gotten to a point where once I restarted this journey, I had to learn how to do this. And I don't even want to say learn all over again, because I don't ever really think I learned how to be a filmmaker. I was still a photographer at heart. And I think I still am, even though I mostly do a lot of video stuff, but it's all centered around photography. So what I wanted to do and what I'm actually doing has changed a lot since I started back into this. I'm telling you all this because basically what I've been doing is learning how to use all this stuff and learning about the tools and learning what works best for me and what I'm able to use in a great way. And I honestly can say, especially once I get the 16 to 35 tomorrow, although that isn't no, totally necessary because I got this 20. Point being is that I have finally built the kit that I've always wanted to be able to do what I want to do. And with the A7R4, I have the perfect camera setup to do wildlife photography. With this A7 IV and soon to be 1635 with my active stabilization and my focus breathing compensation, I will now be able to film what and how I want to in the way that is best suited for me. And I'm good to go. I'm, you know, and also I guess I have the computing power now to be able to edit the way that I want to. Are my videos editing masterpieces? Am I gonna win an Oscar for it? No, because I still suck at editing, but I can cut together a pretty decent story. So I'm at a point now where I think that I could actually tell a cohesive, entertaining story with the tools that I have at my disposal now. And it's taken me a long time, a lot of cameras, a lot of lenses, a lot of accessories, etc., which equals a lot of money. <laughs> but I've gotten to a point now where I finally got things where I've always wanted them to be. Does that mean I'm not gonna be buying shit? Of course not, it's me. So now I'm gonna start turning towards story development. Definitely looking forward to tomorrow to getting the 16 to 35. You know, I'm, that's probably gonna be tomorrow's video. It's gonna be really quick. Like I said, it's gonna be pretty small, light, quick videos for the next few days. And, and then we'll get back to our, our regular droning on about dumb shit. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.